Hello and welcome to Fully Charged, coming to you from the amazing old racing circuit, the Banked Racing Circuit at Brooklands in Surrey. Okay, it's not a racing circuit anymore, it's now a country park, but it's very lovely. And I'm riding on my Go Cycle. Now, I've had this bike for about 18 months. I absolutely love it, it's got me back into cycling. For a gentleman of my age, don't judge me, it's really useful when you're going uphill because it kind of gives you a bit of extra, whew, it's wonderful. Folds up, it's really, really light for an electric bike, it's amazing, I absolutely love it. So I'm come, I've come here to meet Richard Thorpe from Go Cycle, the man who's behind the whole project, because uh, they've come out with something that folds up at even easier and is even better. So they're constantly reiterating the bike, they're constantly updating it, batteries are getting better, all that stuff, he's going to tell me all about it. So. Let's go cycle! Yeah, we're celebrating our, our 10th year anniversary right. uh, this year with our right. new GX model, which is our fast folding model. So it takes our, our, the history of our G1, our uh, G2, G3, right. uh, which, which you have, yeah. and, and our GS models. And it says, um, you know, let's make it a little more easy to fold right. so that people can actually use this product in a city where they're getting on a train or yeah. taking it into their, their place of work. Right. Um, whereas our, our existing products, the folding is mainly for storage yeah. or to take it on a distance or if you have a boat or a car or something like yeah. that. I was li living right in central London when I developed the product and uh, riding uh, normal bikes. I had two of them stolen. Of course. So, um, you know, having things like a slightly more compact uh, yeah. bar spacing yes. because uh, wing mirrors you yeah, know, yeah. And, and hands uh, uh, do yeah. collide sometimes. Yeah. And certainly, yeah, all, the DNA of the product is definitely about, about the city, the, yeah. the clean features so that you can take it into your flat or apartment. Yeah. Um, or into your, your space of work without feeling like uh, people are looking at the greasy chain. Yes, yeah, the real plus side, which I'd sort of forgotten about until I put it in the car the other day, and I went, oh, I've just carried it under my arm, and I don't have a massive chain mark on my... Yeah. There was nothing, I mean, it was fine. Yeah. You yeah. know, it, you don't, there's no sort of exposed oily bits like yeah, that, bikes always have. That was, from the get-go, something that I was very, very uh, clear I needed to do yeah. in, in the product, having had those other, other normal bicycles and having taken them into your flat, you always get a bit of grease that tracks yeah. its way through. And, um, you know, for the Go Cycle, it was right. Everything's got to be enclosed. Yeah. So even if uh, you're storing your product inside your, your, your flat in, in an assembled um, way, everything should be clean. Yeah. So on the very short distance I've been so far on this, it, f it feels a bit more s stable or sort of less whippy than, than my regular yeah, the, go cycle. The so. G3's got a bit more of a sporty uh, a steering geometry right. and fork geometry. Um, also, those are our new all-weather tires. So, the tires uh, are different. Yeah, they're they? a yeah. little more uh, grippy than right. the, the standard G3 tires that yeah. come on there. With every new go cycle, we make subtle improvements uh, along the way. So I just want to point out to viewers that the Go Cycle itself is so quiet you can't hear so you can't hear it. What you're hearing is the fabulous, fabulous camera rig that we're using, which does have a little electric motor that's just beneath the camera, and it does make a bit of a <laughs> the fantastic, specially built, fully charged, <laughs> mobile, eco-friendly camera rig one of a kind and it looks about as stable as me when I've had a rather large glass of red wine. <laughs> So actually this is going to be a good test Richard because the Kona's trunk space is not the biggest in the world. So it's going to be interesting to see if this will fit. But this, so this folds in, because I normally take the wheels off yep. and fold down the, the handlebars and take the saddle out. But yeah, so one... you, you're going to love this. All right, you're, okay. you're a, a Go Cycle owner already, so yeah. you're going to appreciate the advancement here. <laughs> um, so it's super, super easy to fold. Right. Um, simply one latch on the side here. Oh, oh yep. my God. So it's not even undoing a little twiddler. Just right. Oh, look at that. Yep. Oh, I love that action. That's yep. very nice. <laughs> and then uh, the second Same one is there. just here. Oh, down my it goes. God. And it folds yep. down flush. Yep. Wow. So you've got your folding pedals here. Oh, folding pedals. You can 
flip those up there. For goodness sake. Now, the only thing is, because I always take, the saddle is very easy to take off. Yeah, so, you, so you can take that off as well. In, in this mode, there, there's a, a handy little clip on here, <coughs> oh. which then allows you to wheel that oh around. My God, so you don't have to, that is brilliant. Uh, into your office yeah. or into your home. Wow. If you want to go into the car, you take it one, one step further. You right. take off the, the seat here. Yeah. That's got the little so, nut there. That's the, yeah. So that's the same as mine. Similar yeah, that, to yours, which is, yeah. It's such a good idea. It makes it so easy to take the saddle out. So out the saddle comes, and then you've got a, a handy little... Oh, what's this? This uh, is clever. ...tool there. Right. And that slips down into this, the seat oh, holder here. keep it... Look at that. And then you can pull that close, so... Wow, that is brilliant. So then, yeah. what, shall I try and get it in the... Well, if, if oh, you... Well, I'll tell you one, oh, more, no, you do. One, more, one more step further. If you wanted to go down even further, um, you can put the kickstand up, yeah. so it gets a lot more compact. Right. Yeah. And then to put it in the car, obviously one of Go Cycles now's features is quite lightweight. Yeah. Most e-bikes you'd struggle to do this. Yeah. Um, oh look. No. Uh, <laughs> electric and electric. Let me just see. <laughs> Will it pass the acid test? Oh. <laughs> that is amazing. I'm just ashamed at the filth on the back of the car, but that is so good, isn't it? That is yeah. so neat. Wow. And also, I mean, if that was in your kitchen or in your hallway, it's not taking up a great load of room, yeah. is it? Now, I do remember asking you when I first saw them, when we first met, about regen, and ever since then I've regretted that question. So, you know, then you go down a hill, you go, you don't want regen on a bike? Yeah. <laughs> what am I talking about? It's, it's, I mean, our G3 now is 375 watt hours. Uh, the GX is 300 watt hours. It's, it's a stat on a piece of paper that people are interested in. Yeah. And I think it's a bit like cars with range anxiety. People yeah. just want to know they've got uh, enough power. But we, in, in all the celebrating our 10th year anniversary this year, in all those 10 years, we, We've not really had anyone that's complained about the range. Right. Sorry, every one or two years, about 25% more capacity in the cells. Right. So, so you are noticing that. That was yeah. one of the questions I was going to ask. Okay. The so, price keeps trickling down. Yeah. So instead of having a, a, a quite a complex system for regeneration, um, adding a few more cells it makes a uh, difference. is a lot yeah. more efficient. So you're seeing a, <laughs> an, in, an increase in energy density and a reduction in price. Yes. I mean, that's what everyone yeah. talks about, but it's not yet reflected in the cost, for instance, of electric cars. You're not seeing this yeah, kind of... Yeah, I think the price points are still not going to be coming down because everyone's trying to do something to new do something for the next right, year. Yes. Uh, so we're still not at that point where we're going to see dramatic uh, 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 cost reduction. Right. But in terms of battery life, because that's the question I no longer think about having driven electric cars long enough to know they last long enough. <laughs> But then, I presume, you still get asked that. I mean, in terms of these batteries, yeah. You, I mean, have you had to replace batteries in any in well, any bikes? Well, it's an, it's an interesting one. I mean, we recommend in our owners' manuals that people actually recycle the battery after five years. Right. Okay. Now, five years seems slightly shorter than I would have expected in terms of the life of the battery. But is that because you've got a smaller capacity, you're charging it fuller, draining it more? No, I, I think that's basically uh, the same thing about having a five-year-old computer. Right. It's just everyone gets a, no, uh, a view that the latest battery is just so much better. Right. Yeah. Uh, and I think five years is about... Well, actually, also in that time, with the constant increase yeah. in energy, you're yeah. going to get a better battery in five Exactly. Years. That's yeah. what we're saying. So yeah, so you can recycle you a battery. So it's not that the, the original ones have worn out. It's just that you could replace it now. You'll get further range. You'll right. get more energy. Exactly. Same weight, but you'll go further. Yeah. yeah. This is probably a bad analogy. It's probably like choosing to get a hit hip replacement 10 years earlier, you know, while you're... <laughs> because I have been battery. considering, I have been considering getting a couple of hips replaced. <laughs> no, thankfully my hips are still working. Knees, that's yeah. another question. Out she comes. That is a big, that is a really big improvement because that's the, you know, that when I have taken mine on a train, I basically took one wheel off and sort of folded up as best I could, but it was kind of half folded and put it up in the luggage rack. But that is really simple and yeah, quick. It's a little bit bigger, um, but the convenience of the fold is quite a nice yeah. feature, as you've seen. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, it's just a reverse the other way. If you undo your 
your seat. Security hook. Yeah. Put your seat that is very, That's such a simple thing just to keep it, otherwise it's going to be flapping right. about, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Tighten that down. And then you stow your little folding strap there. One click. Oh, that is so easy. Wow. And you've got your folding Put pedals. The pedals out. Brilliant. Wow. And, uh, yeah, that is really to, good. Off to the races. Very impressed with that. Because so I've been riding mine for a year and a half. The stuff I love about it is the software. It just works. The app. And bing! And it connects to the bike and I can tell how much the battery is, how far I've ridden, how fast I've gone, blah, blah, all that stuff. We, we probably led the industry. Um, we were the first production e-bike to have Bluetooth, a standard, right, right. in, in uh, 2012. So we've had some time to get that app dialed in uh, and, yeah. and the connectivity to work. And then if you just put your foot under a wheel here, and then you can swing it back, yes. balance it, oh, and off you that go. Is... Whoop. <laughs> that is so easy, except I got it wrong. But <laughs> I can see that that is very easy. Yeah, you've got to steer it a bit. That is brilliant. That is very good. You know, you'll hear people from across the political spectrum yeah. saying, well, the air's really dirty. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. there's no argument about that. It might, you know, regardless of climate change or any other bigger impacts, the air I'm breathing on my street and my kids are breathing on my yeah. street is disgusting because yeah. of these, because of diesel, you know, it's just, and petrol, but, you know, mainly diesel. And particularly in this country, because we adopted diesel to such a high level, uh, with private cars, you know, yeah. it's just, uh, it is a, a disgrace. And if you don't live in the in an urban area like I don't, and then you go in, when I go into London, I go, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> you re yeah. It really punches you in the face. I mean, yeah. it's really unpleasant. So, I mean, yeah, and when you go, you know, we've just been in Amsterdam, uh, you know, you go, why aren't, why aren't we like that? Because <laughs> there's, that, the majority of people get around Amsterdam on trams and bikes. Yeah. The vast majority, there's a few people that use cars and delivery vans and things like that. Well, they, they've all got to be electric very soon. Even the boats on the yep. canals, you know, and you just go, for goodness sake, that's not that hard to, I mean, it's a smaller city than London, but still, you yeah, know. Yeah, I mean, it, we, we were at a, a conference just recently um, on e-bikes specifically, right? which was also, I think, an interesting sign that um, people are starting to say, actually, we don't have to include other types of vehicles. There's yeah. enough of a momentum in one category here. Right. And uh, there was a person there giving a talk about um, all of the predictions of e-bike uh, usage and numbers sold in the EU in general. And there's a, there's a feeling that, you know, it could be out, all their predictions could be out by like factors of 10. Right. Uh, As in it would be much more, yeah. much bigger, right. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's a pretty exciting time actually. Yeah, yeah. Well, all I can say is, if you get the chance, get on a bike. It's so much, it's the best way to travel. After walking, it's the, you know, the, the low impactness per mile of this bike is just phenomenal. Really want to thank Richard, all the people at Go Cycle, really wish them well with this project. I think this is a fantastic bike. Uh, that's all we've got time for. So please do subscribe to Fully Charged on the YouTubes or even on Facebook. Don't tell anyone, but it's on there too. And uh, have a look at the Patreon link that is underneath this video. And, uh, you know, as always, if you have been, thank you for watching.